Where's all the peoples? All right. Oh, there, yeah, see, I see the comments come up. Bob Levy, let's go. All right, good. The comments are coming up. I just can't comment back yet, which is fine. So that's okay. not a big deal. But either way. So, Bob, man, what's going What's going on with you, man? I know it's been a busy week. We got Memorial mm-hmm. Day weekend coming up. I mean, do you have any big plans or no? Absolutely not. I'm just going to continue my COVID lifestyle and stay home this weekend. I'm off this weekend. So, I mean, look, man, I got used to this. I kind of like it. You know what I mean? Uh, this, fits in, this fits into my lazy uh, lifestyle, and I'm digging it, you know? Uh so, yeah, I'm going to stay home. I may, may, you know, do a little barbecue on the weekend with me and the wife and the dogs and uh, and just pray everybody's safe out there. Oh, dude, listen, I agree with you. I actually, what a lot of people don't realize, if you've been working, you know, the last couple of years from home or you were working remote or, you know, especially in like the mm-hmm. game design industry, this is all stuff I've been doing for five, six, seven years, man. You know, so like it's nothing new. When COVID hit, I already knew how to converse with people digitally. I already knew, uh, you know, that I worked from home a lot more. So I wasn't out as much as other people. Like, my life, honestly, hasn't changed. Yeah, you, know what I, you know what I try to do now is actually get out of the house. Yeah, I tried that. It's not, a, it's not that big of a deal. It's not as yeah. uh, good as people hype it up, you know. I mean, it gets hot. You know, it's either hot or cold. A few months are perfect. I, I like those. But, yeah, I mean, I'll go out in sun later. I'll lay in the fucking back like an animal back there on the deck and tan. You know? And then when I go to work, they're like, wow, you got a tan. I'm like, yeah, I'm always outside, like, cutting wood and shit like that, you know? Nah, dude, I got two younger kids. You think I want to be stuck inside, like, just to go outside? So you'll, you'll laugh about this, right? Uh, my my kid goes, oh man, he goes, I want to improve. I want to get stronger, Dad. You know, I want to, I want to be better at baseball. This and that. Yeah, no problem. So I took him out last night. The like, steroids. You got steroids for him. I was, See, gonna, I was nice. gonna hit him with a little D balls real quick, but I figured, you know, at ten that might, you know, there could be some repercussions. But I figured, let's try it out. So I took him outside and I did plyometrics. What is that? So plyometrics are where you work on your fast twitch muscles, right? Your 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 actions like of doing frog jumps it's explosive movements right yeah. and you only have to do it for a couple minutes i did it for hockey but my kid's 10 and yeah. i did like just a few minutes of plyometrics with him dude he could not walk this morning he looked like he looked like a stick figure trying to get through the hallway over to the bedroom and then collapsed as he got inside because he couldn't move his legs i'm like dude you got to stretch it out but he was walking around and honestly as a parent it was kind of funny because of all the all the stuff that he does to us, I finally got him back. But it yeah. wasn't by any means of just making him better. Yeah, I mean, just don't get him. Really, don't get him steroids because you don't want him fucking uh, waking up. You wake up in the middle of the night one night and he's got a knife in front of you and your wife. You know, <laughs> might have a little anger. Yeah, I'm not taking a shower, and he just, you know, all of a sudden he tries to stab you in the eye with a toothbrush, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Yeah, you'll be on one of those late night shows we watch all night. You know, those murder things. Imagine the next, that the next Netflix documentary, Bob. Yeah, I mean, imagine that you, you know, your family's watching that, and all of a sudden you come up. You know, it's like eh, I knew he wasn't going to raise them right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we always knew he was fucked up, Bob. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but what are you gonna do? Fucking life moves on, you know. Well, how's your how's your miserable? I saw some ads come out, man. Mm-hmm. I saw some things popping and moving. How's the how's the other shows doing? Give uh, give the fans, give the base, give them something to talk about. How's that stuff going right now? Because I saw a lot of ads, man. Well, yeah, Levy Land's going good. Uh, that's on syndicateradio.tv. We'll be fixing that website this weekend. But you know, just click on whatever show is there, and you can join our YouTube channel. Then we just started another one, the LCK show with me, Joe Conti, and John Kensel. We did one that's on there too. And then Miserable Men, we've been doing a few patrons and that, and uh, some regular shows, and it's just kicking ass. We're very excited, you know. Got it. Yeah, that is. I mean, dude, I've seen it the entire time, and I just think it's pretty – it's it's honestly really dope. You know, the show is a lot of fun. I think mm-hmm. uh, what we do here, too, is a nice little addition 
yeah. right, to what you're doing there, bring some of the stuff over, talk about it, segue people in. So they're really getting kind of all the facets of Bob Levy. I don't think a lot of people really knew Bob Levy that way, right? They Maybe you wrote some things, they're like, oh, I'm a fan of this, but like mm-hmm. nobody but- really knew you, man. Like, you know, in that sense. So I want to ask a couple questions. I got, you know, he's my buddy, Maddie, actually. This is a friend uh-huh. uh, that I've known from New Rochelle back east. He says he loves uncut. So uh, he wants us to go kind of crazy. But I had a couple questions for people yeah. so they get to know Bob, right? So here's my couple questions. Pancakes or waffles, Bob? Uh, waffles. Pancakes suck. I don't know why they're on a fucking, they shouldn't, they're in, they should be embarrassed to be next to eggs and bacon. Truthfully, uh, it's just a, it's a shit fucking meal, you know? (laughs) So, so so you're that upset about, about them. Uh, and, and that's actually pretty funny. Would you choose, Mm -hmm. would you choose first and foremost, would you eat syrup with your eggs? No, fucking eggs and salt. That's it. I mean, what the fuck? It's like steak, salt. That's it. Don't fuck around with it. It's perfect. Stop fucking making it so your kid can eat it. He doesn't enjoy it like me. I'll eat his piece. Don't fuck it up with garbage. Oh, come on. Hey, I like a little... I like the syrup when it digs into the eggs if I'm eating, like, pancakes or waffles or something, man. It is... It's insane. It's really delicious. No, man. I build a wall around it. I don't want none of that invading my eggs. You build you build a wall. Are you the guy? Okay. All right. This, this is what the fans really want to know. I'm telling you right now. They want to know. Are you the guy who, while eating your mashed potatoes, you're the guy who makes the fucking hole in the middle and talks about the volcano, aren't you? Well, I don't talk about the volcano. I make it, and then I kind of mix it around in and there and then you get it perfect you know it's like what are you gonna dip it into a separate thing it's like shrimp cop cocktail just pour it all over the fucking thing i don't want to dip it like a fancy boy yeah we got people saying i hate pancakes too and I they gotta- suck dude they suck pancakes suck it's fucking they make you make it at home they say hey it's just powder and add water what the fuck is that you know what i mean same thing with cement it's true you're gonna make cement cakes Exactly. It's garbage. It's like it's like that's when you know you're fucking white trash when you go, like, oh, I can't wait to get all these stacks of pancakes. You know, I hope you choke on it. It's like eating a sponge with syrup on it. That's true. All right. All right. Crispy bacon or bacon that's got a little ball sack to it. You know what I mean? A little stretchability to it, man. It's got to be stretchy. You don't want it overcooked, man. You know, you put it on a BLT sandwich, take a bite. It just shatters like my sheets all over the place. <laughs> So you have to have it a little, uh, you have to have it uh, basically, you know, almost cooked. Almost like, you know, because people are like, you're going to get sick. You're not going to get fucking sick, you know? No, no you're not going to get sick. It's fucking bacon. You can exactly. eat bacon raw if you want to. I mean, yeah, you might get sick, but like you can, you can absolutely eat bacon any way that you want. But anybody who cooks their bacon to super crispy is the same person who likes their steak with 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 no taste uh, like a fucking hockey puck dude it's disgusting no it's got to be bloody i like it like my women bloody and uh and all over my face you know yes. well last next time you have a steak sit on your face let me know bob oh, i'm trying to figure out how this works in about four hours my friend <laughs> Hey, you can walk through mud, you can fuck through blood, Bob. We know how you roll. It's fine. Hey, man, you know what I mean? It just makes you look more like a warrior. Hey! Oh, so you, you put the paint on your face, too, and you walk out of the bedroom? Yeah, I got it under my eyes like I'm playing a fucking... Uh, I'll be eating a, a, a day game. <laughs> all you right, know? all right. Okay, what kind of hot dogs... And I'm not talking... It's, it's not an acronym for dicks, okay? What mm-hmm. kind of hot dogs do you actually eat? Do you actually eat... Like uh, like like the real ballpark dogs, right? Like the actual ballpark dogs, or do you buy the cheap fuckers that look like a stubby dick when you're when you you know when somebody's really fucking scared? No, it's not going to be a penis, but it looks like a stubby stubby dick. Okay, I got you now. No, I buy uh, I buy Nathan's or Sabrettes. There's no other hot dog uh, ballpark. I, I mean, anything that would plump like that while you're cooking it is not real meat. I'm sorry, but like a ballpark, uh, any kind of baseball or football or hockey hot dogs that you get they're really garbage but you're drinking so it's okay 
but you're not going to eat that shit at home, you know. I'm not going to eat what the Philly fans eat, you know what I mean? That's you never crave say. a dirty water dog, bro? Oh, those are good. Those are good, but you know what I mean? That's different. That's what about different. Hebrew National, Bob? Hebrew National, the big, those are the ball, like the real, you know, ballpark yeah. dog, the long ones. You need the extra fucking buns. See, here's where they fuck you. You yeah. go to the store, you're like, oh, I like Hebrew Nationals. Look, these are big hot dogs. They're delicious. Yeah. You buy the buns and it, you, you got the tip hanging out, like all over the place, right? Well, like, that's like to get the, that's for, to get the women interested in hot dogs. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's a trick. Uh, you know, a lot of us do that in uh, advertisement, you know? All my podcasts have my helmet and my cock sticking out just a little. <laughs> oh, you're oh, so you're the guy at the movie theaters cuts the hole in the bottom of the popcorn thing, right? Well, and reach in, grab an it, extra, grab an extra hand of popcorn here. It's baby. not gonna cut itself, I always say. You know? <laughs> so, no, I mean, like, like fucking hot dogs. If you're gonna get shitty hot dogs, you might as well eat with pancakes and then fucking hang yourself. Oh, you know? oh, actually, that's a good idea. So, all right, so we actually have we actually have step by step, right? Eat mm. the shitty hot dog. With the pancake, or is the pancake before the hot dog? Yeah. Or do you wrap them together like a total fucking loser and then just go play in traffic? Oh my god, that that could be the the newest white tread. That could knock macaroni and cheese out of the market. I mean, this white tread, right? With the white trash people, like, oh, oh my god, it's not late. It's not Memorial Day weekend. It's Christmas, motherfuckers. They'll be giving them out as gifts. You know, look what I made you. I made you a Santa out of hot dog and pancakes. Over under. Over mm-hmm. under, thirty percent of people who who make it to Monday on this weekend will eventually be looking at pregnancies. No, it is well. Okay, I think this is going to be. If it's sunny out, a lot of people will get not skin cancer, but they're all going to be burned because they're this is all new for them again. <laughs> you know, uh, they're definitely going to fuck somebody that they they're not going to be happy with by Tuesday, and it's gonna it's going to be. It's going to fuck up their mind, you know? Over uh, under 40% of people are unhappy with who they fuck this weekend. I would say more. I would say more. And I would that's say including it's, married couples. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's like, again, you know? It, it's like, oh, good, I'm having pancakes again. This should be fucking nice. You know? <laughs> what a shitty weekend, Bob. Pancakes, hot dogs, and un- and unlubricated, unwanted sex. I guess. Oh. But hey. it, it, it's a holiday. Well, that's what people look at it. They don't even know what the holiday's for or whatever. Uh, most people don't. They just go out to get fucked up. You give people a reason to get fucked up. I mean, that they will be on George Floyd Day, the next holiday. People will still get fucked up because of the fact it's like it's a holiday. They don't look into anything, what anything means of most people, especially the kids today. They would... They wouldn't know, oh, we're off, we're off. That's all they fucking know, you know? There's a yeah. lot of stupid motherfuckers in this country, you know? That is, I mean, there's there's not even really a debate on that. There are tons of stupid people. But I, I would say this. <clears throat> when we were growing up, we kind of looked for any excuse, right? Like, we really did. But now, I'm in California, and I grew up in New York. So we mm-hmm. always had snow, Right, we yeah. had those things that gave us days off. You don't have that shit out in California, man. It's, you know, you, you just don't have those days off. But yeah, only fucking earthquakes, which I'm happy. I, yeah. I wish that fucking a big one would hit fucking LA soon enough. But you have to move first. Well, I mean, it's just a boring fucking. You know what I mean? Everybody's a fucking. Any anybody that has money out there is a total douchebag, and they're just a braggart and. Uh, it's all about them. You don't even need to be around, you know? So it's like, it, it's just not fun. I, I hate it. My wife's from L.A. That's another reason I hate it. California, but no. But no, I just, I, I just never liked that. I could never say, see, see myself living there. No, you know what? I, I came out here. I made uh, multiple attempts to go back east and uh, with family. Uh, it, it never really worked out because job stuff always kind of hung around, right? Mm-hmm. And one. Especially now, I mean, I have all these people contacting me because of the show. Oh, you're interested in this. Oh, you're interested in this. It's like people are trying to make a mass exodus from California to get to other states. And what people yeah. don't realize is they're all going to the same goddamn state. What are you going to change when you get all the dumb minds that go to the same fucking state? You're not changing anything. No, no. It's just you have more dumbasses. That's why I'm trying to figure out where they're all going. 
and then I, I'm either going to Florida or I don't know if somewhere in Florida I'm going. I'm just that's it. I'm just gonna fucking I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna fucking do comedy podcast. I'm just gonna enjoy life, you know. No more fucking snow. No, I'm going to meet you down in Florida, man, because uh-huh. Florida to me has uh, the benefits, right? You've got look. Where where would you go? Nobody's telling you to give exact locations, but I'm I would stay more towards the Tampa area. That's where I'm going. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to like. Uh, what the fuck's the name of it? It's uh, Spring Hill area, you know? And uh, it'll be good. I'm looking for the perfect house, and we'll see. And it's a way, it's, a, it's enough away from Tampa. And it, it'll be nice. It'll be a nice change. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Are you ready for the hurricanes, man, when they do come? Uh, I'm a little off the, you know what I mean? They'll hit the other places first. That's so what I'm I, saying. That's why I want Tampa. But when they happen and it's starting to happen a little bit closer to you, man, how do you think that that's going to affect a little bit? Hey, man, shit happens all the time. You know, I'm not going to. I survived COVID, motherfucker. So uh, <laughs> I don't think a, a hurricane is going to take me down from 90 Dude, miles away from I, fucking Tampa. I just got a message that someone got the COVID shot. And uh, this is actually somebody from back east. Somebody got the COVID shot, yeah. and a magnet is sticks to their arm. Oh, that's fucking great! You see, that's a fucking show right there. Right? You should hire yeah. that. I know a guy that fucking got the COVID shot, and then he sucked the guy's dick right after it. But that happens. That's happening already, Bob. I know. I mean, it's just that you know, I didn't know anyone that did it yet. But yeah, and then he's saying, "Oh, uh, it must have been the COVID shot that made me suck a dick." And I was like, "No, it probably wasn't. It was probably it, it, waiting online to do it." So is this? Can you can you sign up for this? Can you go like digitally online and sign up for the shot? Like so, essentially, it's recreating the happy ending. Yeah, yeah, and basically you can win a lot. You win prizes now in Ohio. Did you read about that or something like that? that, that oh God, they're trying to give hit. people a million dollars to go do it, but they won't do it for obesity, Bob. But they'll no. do it so you get a shot that people are dying from. Well, that's that's I I, I don't really get it. Like they're giving out tickets to like hockey games here, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's it's unbelievable. It's like hold out until like somebody gives you a house to get it. You know, I mean, what yeah. the fuck are they gonna do? I mean, where has this ever happened? You know what I mean? Where they were, you've got any kind of shot and they're giving out fucking major prizes now. These are like radio fucking prizes, right? You know, truthfully, I mean, tickets to a game and that's Bro, shit. a million dollar prize. They, they were going to give five one million dollar prizes. They were going to literally pick five uh. people. And they were, if you could prove that you got the shot, they were going to give you a million dollars. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. shot. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, uh, it's ridiculous, man. Uh, why are they trying to get people just to, to go to this point, just to take this shit? You know, I think if you live through this and you didn't have it, you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I don't want to. I'd like to win tickets to a. Uh, I'd like to get tickets to, you know, a fucking Baseball Phillies game. game. Yeah. I mean, that would be nice. I'd be there on COVID day. Everybody put your mask on. It's COVID day. You know, and then uh, it, it would, it, you know, me and a bunch of other losers there at the game. I think it would be pretty exciting. You know, if I have to wear a mask, I'm keeping my cock out. Well, that's what it, I'm not. Listen, I'm not going to any store after to, what Friday. Tomorrow's Friday in Jersey. You don't have to wear a mask. So if somebody tells me I have to wear a mask, uh, I'm I'm going to be like, uh, sorry, I'll take my money elsewhere, and I'll just leave that peep booth and find one that I don't have to wear one. I haven't been wearing it anyway. I walk in and they kind of look at me, and I just <clears> smile and I'm like, I'm good, and yeah. they don't say anything. People are <clears throat> you. And I try and joke and be lively. You know, I mean, you, I think you got a pretty good idea of, of how I conduct myself. I walk in. I try and tell a joke. I laugh with the people. I have one guy. Uh, he's wearing his mask, and I'm not wearing mine. He goes, I hadn't seen you in a couple weeks. And I'm like, well, I just wasn't coming to this store. You know, I, yeah. I, did, I had no need, right? So when I finally saw him, and he said, I said, when are you guys going to stop wearing these masks, man? I'm like, it, you know, if people have the shot. Yeah. then it doesn't matter if somebody else gets the shot, right? Technically, like, if I get the shot, 
and I go to you who doesn't have the shot, we should both be okay because I have the shot, right? Like that's you would think my thought think. process. Yeah. So and and that's why I said to him, I said I just I can't deal with these people that just constantly they give you the mean looks like when you walk in somewhere. And now my response is whenever I walk in somewhere and somebody starts looking at me, I said, how do you feel to be a fucking retard? And they just look at me and uh-huh. I say, you're still wearing a fucking mask. We're a year and a half after you're still wearing a mask and all of the news and information has changed yeah. and they just give you this dirty look. But I got a message from somebody just recently was telling me uh, their significant other got the shot. They didn't get the shot and they're kind of the black sheep. Right. And it made me think back, mm-hmm. man, this this is a lot like with a lot of people who were breaking into comedy, right? Going into things. When you were really going into some of those parts of comedy, you were a black sheep. And I think it's just more of, of getting people back into the swing of things, right? Continue uh-huh. to be funny, and then people will kind of roll over into uh, being a lot looser, right? And yeah. You're seeing that because people want the comedy. We had a bunch of people just jump in this thing already. Like, let's hear some fun. Let's talk about some fun. And they were doing it. So are you seeing that with your shows now? Because I know last time, and I wanted to promote this for you, because every time when you were saying it, the show was growing. Now that people are getting back into that style of comedy, aren't you seeing a a nice rise in the amount of people who are tuning in because they just want to hear you be funny? Well, yeah, they want to hear good shit. They want to be entertained. They've been fucking bored for a year and a half. I mean, God damn it. People are coming out. So people, you know, some people still don't know how to act yet. They'll, you know, there, there's a higher percentage of people that are just fucked up at a show now than in a while. But, hey, that's okay. We're all learning again how to live. But, yeah, people want to be entertained. That's why I'm doing as much as I can on the internets and, uh, and get out as much as I can. I'm ready for this shit. I'm tired of. We got to have fun again. We got to just fucking loosen up and stop watching the news and thinking everybody hates each other. Nobody hates each other. You know who we hate? Assholes. Assholes yep. we hate. That's the only fucking thing. But I love a woman's asshole. But I hate a man. And, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know how to say it right. But you know, hey, fucking live. Stop being a bitch. Stop complaining about shit. Oh, we get in. You know, I get dirty looks at the fucking. At the supermarket, but I have been for years. You know why? Because I'm wearing fucking sweatpants with no underwear, with my dick fucking flapping back. I don't give a fuck when I go out. Okay, I'm like, what's hey, the equivalent? hold on. What's the equivalent? Right. Right. I understand the, the, the sweatpants. Girls love seeing a little slob along, you know, slap, slap around. Mm-hmm. And, and it's the imprint, right? It really is the imprint. So what is that equivalent to on a woman for a guy? Is it nipples poking out? Right? Is it camel toe? Because look, some uh-huh. girls don't just have camel toe. They got the full fucking moose knuckle. Oh, yeah. It's okay? unbelievable. And it's gross. I don't find it sexy. What do you equivalent the penis imprint in sweatpants on a woman? To a nice ass. A nice ass. Because you're putting out, like a woman's, a nice ass on a woman should glow like, like a lightning bug. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? It should be, because that's the selling point. You know what I mean? And then Even they turn around. Not big and bubbly, right? It's okay. There's all different shapes and sizes. Well, right? I want it to be real good. I'm like, fucking let it glow. Let it glow. Then they turn around. And you're like, oh, thank God. Thank God you don't look like a fucking donkey. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. When you're, you know, we, you got to find which side your helmet looks better on the left or right. And then when you go out, you walk in the store, you flick it to the right. And you're like, hey, can you, you tell me? It? what Do I tape it? I tape it? No, I my, my dick don't talk. He wouldn't do a show. I mean, what do you mean, tape it? Tape it to no, my leg? You fucking tape it to the leg, my dick. No, I don't have show. to take it. I That's let it go. It looks like ever. this. It looks like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's well, we let it go. Work. We know you're in shape, dude, so we all know that you you know, you know got some cock. That's fine. Like We all, I'm we all know cock. that. I'm all cock, most people say. I mean, my wife is like, that thing is like, it, it's, so, it's so big. Like, you know, I, I once... Uh, I broke her pussy, man. It happened, man. I just, uh, I don't know what happened. I, I thought I was, it, it Are sometimes, you no, it broke. It was, it was like, it was injured. You know what I mean? Oh. It was like, you know, it, it was like this on one side, you know? Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I do some damage to that motherfucker, but you know, that's what happens. Uh, God was good to me. You know, I never knew it was big. I, cause it was small. It's smaller. It's small when it's small. 
And then it gets fucking, it just fucking, I'm like, whoa, look at this fucking thing. No, you know? it becomes Thor's mighty hammer. I got the same thing. I, my, <laughs> mine will, you know, mine likes to hide a little bit sometimes, yeah. right? When it's there, it's like protecting. Because I got, I got, I got, you know, what some would say, you know, bigger than average balls, right? I can't help it. It sucks running. It was always sucks putting fucking cups on when I was playing hockey. Yeah. And, and while you're running, it's kind of like having D-set titties that's between my legs. That's just really what it is and it's it, it gets uncomfortable but when when the schlong actually slaps out bob yeah yeah it it's fucking force okay that, that's what it is but when you see it like now like okay say i was like i i got arrested by the cop and they make you get and like it's usually bigger than this i'd be i i'd still be like that i go no this is like when it's really small man don't say you know what i mean don't laugh, man. I'll okay, show you. Let me get hard right now. Do you do? Do you do t uh, towel lifts? Towel lifts? No, Fuck, no, dude, no. This is how you. This is how you train your cock, bro. You got to get a, a wet towel when you're out of the shower. Get it right to that point, you know, where you can give it the flick, right? You give it the little thrust, right? Little little stomach action, mm -hmm. and then you do towel lifts. It strengthens all the muscles, dude. Before you know it, you got Thor cock, dude. That's that's how you do it. I learned that in hockey camp. How, as disturbing as that is. That uh, that's weird when you got eighteen guys in a shower doing those fucking uh, cock lifts. I was fucking young with a whole bunch of big dudes. I wanted a bigger cock, dude. It was the only way I could fucking figure it out. No, see, I never knew that. You know, uh, I love. You gotta I mean, work out your cock, Bob. Nah, I'm fucking. I'm pretty lazy. I, I let him work it out himself. Like we have an understanding. He's got to do what he's got to do, and I do what I got. I lure him over, and you spit on him. Oh, 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 he's a yeah. nasty boy. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like paint. I like painting. That's painting. another hobby of mine. Look yeah. at that. I, I'm, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you like to paint the. I like, you like to paint. <laughs> you you like to handle it. <laughs> it's yeah. a great response, dude. Oh, so what? <clears throat> what happened this last week? Anything super crazy that happened this last week? Anything uh, really fun? that took place with you this last week. I'll get into my sons with his uh, with his baseball tournament later. But anything really cool happened with you this week? You know what? I, I can't say so. Just taping. I have fun doing that and doing comedy. Uh, I'm going to uh, – I started doing the black circuit now, and uh, I, I'm really excited about this. You know, they would call it black clubs. You know what I mean? That's what you would hear. Uh, it's basically comedy. Uh, I'm like the only maybe white person on the show. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that, I mean, I knew this for a long time from doing them a long time, that the black crowds are the best crowds. You know what Absolutely. I mean? They fucking love it. They go fucking nuts. And I'm really excited about, uh, I'm working with Two Ray again. He put me, at, uh, I'm doing, uh, uh, I think it's called uh, The Laugh, uh, Something, uh, Sim Wilmington, <laughs> Wilmington, okay. Delaware, something like the laugh that. house, the laugh house, something like that. It's something like that or house. Laugh. I don't know what the fuck it is, uh, but I don't have it in front of me right now, but I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this guy is cool too. And it's going to bring a whole different thing and I'm going to really enjoy doing them. No, that's, that's actually a lot of fun. I want to get, I want to get out. I want to get out and do it and just fucking let it fly uh when oh, it's when, the house of laughs the house the, of laughs there you go De wilmington delaware baby a thursday night come on out i'll show you how it's done here's here's the thing man there's going to be some some things that i'm working on man that that i think we can start popping some actual shows i'm in the middle of working on uh -huh. building up a lot of the digital uh marketing for podcasters things like that but i want to break off some some actual live shows uh, yeah. I'm going to work on that, dude. So we're going to, without a doubt, be in touch for that. But I want to get some stand-up comedy pieces into um, into a couple places. So I'm in the process of trying to work on that now. But uh, just really quick, give you an update. My son didn't win the fucking baseball championship. They lost in the final game. They won five games in a yeah. row. In a row the entire week. They just kept winning, kept winning. Then they lose. Uh, and it was actually a lot of fun, but that was essentially my week, man. My, that, that's why I was so hard to get back and forth because every time we turned around, it's like they won. And now we got to be at the fucking fields at like three o'clock or four o'clock in the afternoon, 
you know, mm-hmm. for a little bit of warm up and practice, and then the game, and then by the time we get back, right? So it just ate up like that. the majority of days. You know what I mean? So but you're yeah, happy. Go you're happy that they lost. Tell the truth. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm happy. No, I'm yeah. happy. I, I wish they won for the sake of my son, but you know what? It's kind of also like if when you win the first time, I I got this real fear that if he wins the first time, he's going to think every fucking time he's going to win. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing. It's like let him him wait. Let him get their real thrill of winning down the road. This is too early. Then he could go bang the hottest fucking fan there is. You understand me? That's when when he wins, I want him to get laid. Yeah. No, that's a... If somebody said, if you win, you're going to get laid, a lot more people would be winners. You know, truthfully, there's no doubt in my mind about that. People have, you know, you got to, to make people winners, you have to put something there. You have to give, you know, offer them a reward to win. And when you get that, you know, if I can go, oh, I mean, you're going to bang two strippers really hot. You pick them. I'm going to win that fucking game. I don't give a shit if I got to fucking play every fucking position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell those motherfuckers, if we don't win this game, I'm going to kill your pets. I'm going to sneak into your fucking house. I'm going to fucking kill your mother. And that's what I would do if I was a kid again. But this, would, is, this is only from 9 to 11, though, right? So it's that it still applies, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but you have to, you know what I mean? You, you have to, you offer somebody something. You know, I always, when I do something, even with comedy, I said, this is the money first time I've seen you because I've seen you. So you need you, once a guy likes you, you go from there and you do it with him. I'm just getting you in. You know what I mean? That's it. And there's an offer. There's something he's looking forward to. You know, if you're gonna say you're gonna get pussy, if you can finish my house in that in two days, you fucking. You know what I mean? The guy's gonna finish the house in two days. People work a little harder if they have a, you know, and they work better because they want to please you because they want to win. I it's think we're on something. Oh, totally, totally. Why can't we offer, right? Why can't we offer the, the, the well, did you hear, I, I, you know, I don't know if you followed it or not, the Deshaun the, the Watson stuff, right, the QB from, from Texas. Did you hear, Did you ever hear about that where he had all these uh, allegations from a uh, massage therapist that he was, like, violating it, right? Like, he would he would be really nasty. He would He would have massage therapists and, like, he would just expect them to do sexual favors, right? Yeah, well, there. yeah, I mean, if you're paying for it, yeah. Go right, ahead. Check this out. Yeah. So they come out, a whole bunch of people come out, and they say, oh, man, you know, this is really bad. And and we have all these, you know, t- uh, it's like 22 indictments or or people that have come cr- uh, wow. across that have said, hey, this, is, this took place. Dude, there were so many red flags. This is why I'm laughing at it, right? Because mm-hmm. people want to say, like, there's actually questions. He went on Instagram against the team's wishes uh, to find massage therapists. And then what you found out he did, he would start jerking off in front of them. Yeah, okay. Like, I, but I'm saying, like, they came in. Dude, I've gone into a massage therapist. What's the fucking code? Like, I stand there, right, trying to look for a happy ending. I'm laying uh, on the table, and I'm kind of like, is there is there a secret word? I'm looking around the fucking rooms. I'm looking at you know all the pictures that they have. Maybe yeah. there's like you know like like back in the Goonies and shit. There's there's just some fucking strip that says do this or pull this lever. You know, yeah. and I'll find something. What the hell's the code? Well, I think the code is basically what he's doing. You start jerking off when they come in, and you just look at him and go, "Hey, if you want to jump in at any time, let me know. I can I can is move my hand." Odd? Is this odd? Yeah, no, it's like you know, what what do you do? I, I I'm pulling I pull pulling this muzzle right now. <laughs> or do you walk in with one of the Hebrew nationals, bro? No, I mean, <laughs> look, look. start slapping them with a fucking hot dog, Bob. Look, if you're going to get a massage, that's why like massages are great. Like, uh, I'm trying to get my back. I'm gonna join the gym. I'm gonna fix everything on me that after the the next surgery. So I'm gonna join the gym. I'm also gonna go. My wife's like, yeah, you should go to the massage places. And I said, all right, you don't mind? And she goes, well, you're not going to come. And I'm like, all right, you want to bet on it? Uh, you know what I mean? Whether, whether they help me or not, I'm going to come. I'll fucking win this bet. Wait, wait, wait. Is it, is it the actual girl or the hot towel, Bob? Come on. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's whoever the girl is. I mean, 
I'm not going to go to a guy massage thing because then, then when I come, then I'm going to feel sick. You know, no, after I come, I'm going to feel bad. Hot rocks up your ass, though, Bob. I want to know because I, I'm thinking about it. Because those, yeah. just imagine that hot fucking rock, dude. It might, it might, it might be better than fucking like colon cleanse. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going to start slow with just jerking off when they walk in. And see what happens then. You know, I don't want to. I don't want them to walk in and go. I already put two rocks in my ass. You go ahead. Your turn. You know, Bob. Bob I'm experienced, man. I'm on my third visit, bro. I got two fucking rocks and some oil on my cock, bro. I'm already yeah. going. Yeah. So I'm taking care of myself. You know what I mean? I'm gonna uh, be doing that, and uh, I'll lay out in the sun later, and then I'll go back to dancing. I don't know. Go back to. Are you dance by yourself in the house, Bob? No, I, 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 maybe stupidly with the dogs, you know, to entertain them. I do stupid shit with them, you know. They they get a kick out of me. That's pretty funny, dude. How many yeah. times? Uh, tell what kind of dogs you got, though. Tell everybody what kind of dogs you got. I got two puggles left. One died last November, and then I have a black lab. So it's like they're all, they're getting old, you know. It's like we well, deal with shit, you know. It's like they've had a great life, so keep them going as long as possible. They have fun. And will, uh, you, and will you replace them? And I hate to say it like that, but you know, if one dies, will you get another one? Are you kind of at that point right now that it's like, I had them, I need a little bit of a break. I, I know a lot of dog people that's that, you know, or pet people that yeah. say, I had them for 20 years. I kind of want to break, you know, for a year, go wherever I want without having to worry about the animal. I, I just, I hear that a lot. Yeah, I mean, I like to have one around. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until they're gone and then give it a little, maybe six months a year. But, like, it, it, you know, it, I do the same thing with wives, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, uh, yeah, it was good, you know, and then it went bad. And, oh, look how horrible. This is very painful. I can't have this anymore. And then you go out and get another one, you know? <laughs> it seems to be my thing. That's that's always good, but yeah, but you're good now. You're good now. You got everything rocking and rolling. Things are finally doing your way, baby. Like, yeah, I mean, like I've been on the sidelines for a few years, you know, with the injuries and that shit. And but I'm, I feel good. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the. I know the next thing into the gym is going to be painful, but I have to really work out the shit that's hurting me. I have to go to that point with it. And to get it better, and that, and then, uh, you know, that's the next step. So I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Yeah, dude. No, I'm. I feel you. I gotta now put my money where my mouth is and do the and do the uh, plyometrics that I do with my son because I told them, you know, if you do it and you get through it, right? I gotta lead by example. So now I gotta fucking do it, Bob. And that's just gonna put me in absolute pain for like a week. Well, that's why you can send them to summer school. You know what I mean? Truthfully, you don't. You can get out of that if you really think about it. You know? <laughs> it's like I never like my son wasn't really into sports. He was into other. You know, now he's a musician. But yeah. uh, but the whole thing is, is that you know we never did anything that was. We went swimming. That was it. You know, we, we didn't, he played baseball for a little while. I'm like, all right, maybe this ain't your fucking thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there's always your thing. It's like, don't force your kid to play something no. because you want them to play. And because if they're not into it, if they don't want to care about the rules, if they, you know, if they're just not good at it, don't push them because there's something. Everybody's good at something. Everybody's right. great at one thing. They just don't know who it is, what it mm -hmm. is. They don't know what that one thing is. And sometimes you have to find it. Uh, you have to keep looking and say, what is you know, if you have no talent at home, some of you people out there, you're probably going, look at me. I can't do anything. I'm a total fucking loser. I, I can't get laid. I can't play sport. I can't. Look, there's something out there that you're the best at. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you just don't realize it because you're you're so stupid. You can't find it. So but keep looking. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's right at the tip of your fucking loser fingers. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody got upset. They put an angry face when you said it. they're too fucking stupid to find it. But they are. They get that. They understand that. Of course, they understand that. They, you, look, don't put up an angry face. Put up a smile and make believe you're gonna find that fucking special talent you have. 
Hey, some people's special talents fucking crocheting, man. You just got to own your talent, right, Bob? But, that, that's yeah. essentially what we're saying here. And a lot of people, it was uh, sucking my dick. That was your special <laughs> talent. But thank you. Thank you for finding it, finding that talent of yours. Bob is happy you found that talent because <laughs> it, it got him through some very boring times. Well, that's what it is, you know. Even my hand was like, thank God. <laughs> thank Lord, I got a break. Yeah. I wish I knew those people so I wasn't shoving hot rocks up my ass, Bob. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I'm new here. I didn't know what I was doing. That's what I'm going to say. I'm new here. You got you to gotta get on new here. I love that. Yeah. But you have, man, I'm really excited for the stuff that's going on, man. This has been, as of right now, like, what we never realized, Bob, I want you to understand, we've already been on 45 fucking minutes. Really? You say, and we didn't even. What are we talking about? You know? I, that, that was the whole point, right? So that, yeah. like, we've already been doing this for forty-five minutes, and we've gone off on nothing but fucking tangents. But what I want is, what new stuff do you have coming up? I know people are going to it. I'm getting messages on a regular basis. Uh -huh. What new stuff is coming out that you want these people to go to? Because we got a lot of people popping in and out of here. Yeah. So what do you have? Guide them to the stuff that you have coming out. Well, listen, you got to go to syndicateradio.tv or YouTube, Syndicate Radio, and uh, there's two of them. You'll see the Levy Land ones on it. You know, even if you go to syndicateradio.tv, there's one with Kevin Brennan still up there from three weeks ago, but it's, everything's going to be updated this weekend. Just click on that, subscribe to uh, Syndicate Radio, you'll see. And uh, I have the LCK show we just started with Joe Conti and uh, John Kensel on there. We got this show. We got fucking uh, miserable men. You know, uh, it's just it's just uh, kicking ass. You know, you can uh, find miserable men on Patreon, or whatever the fuck you have to put in there to do it. Yeah. And then we're on Shuli's. Uh, we're on Shuli's, uh YouTube channel. So for now, so check it out. I mean, it, it's fun, man. And the comedy I put up on Facebook and that. I'm doing something in fucking uh, North Jersey next uh, Friday. Then I have the thing in Delaware on the 10th, I believe, on the Thursday. So, I mean, it's it's going to be great. It's on my Facebook. My Twitter's Levy underscore sir. And I post the shit up there. So, Yeah, no, man. Like, our last uh, thing that we did, our last live stream, ended up having about 100 people who filtered in and out. Yeah. Uh. Oh, we'll get and tons for, more than that. Yeah. Oh, we'll get no, no, we'll get tons more, but they didn't even know, and that was on a channel with less, less following than even the one that we're on now. Yeah. So we've been getting a ton of people that have kind of been filtering through, and yeah. they keep popping in, and I'm seeing the messages actually as they pop up, and I'm getting personal messages from the side of people saying that they love it, and they're laughing their ass off, and this is what I try to explain to people: yeah. just a normal fucking car ride conversation. Where maybe you're driving to work and you just listen to this and maybe you had some fun. I hope we didn't cause any fucking accidents. Yeah, but, but the whole thing is, is that, look, once we start setting up the show a little more with a skeleton around yeah. it, and it's simple. It's a fucking simple thing. It's easy. When people know how to talk, it's simple. Yeah, you and know? that's what we're going to start doing for uh, the upcoming show is actually building a skeleton. So, Bob, that is my promise that we'll actually have the skeleton, and I think... I, there's even people we could have pop in, add a little bit of stuff there, um, and we could make it even bigger than what it is as of right now. But this is already growing, Bob. Good, good. It'll be fun. It's already growing. What do you have going on, man, for the rest of the day? Because we got a couple minutes left. What do you? What? Give me something that that you're super fucking excited about for a Thursday. All right. Uh, well. We uh, we started cleaning the house today. Today is the house cleaning. Our daughter's coming from L.A., so from California. Mm -hmm. So we're cleaning the house, and then she'll be here tonight. And I'm going to go tan in the backyard. And uh, it's exciting. I mean, look, that's what life's about. You know, it's not yeah. about. I mean, I like I like the little things in life. Uh, I've, no, I've that's, what, that's what we're going to do. My guy actually getting an oil change on a car. And then uh, just coming back and just being able to kind of fucking kick it. You know, and relax and sit in the backyard during nice weather because it's Memorial Day weekend. How many people are fucking gone today anyway? They're gone. Most people oh, yeah. aren't there. 
No, no, it's nice. This is nice. And, uh, you know, thanks for everyone who gave up their lives for us. You know what I mean? And nobody gives a fuck anymore in this country. They're all like, fucking, no, oh, fuck you, fuck them, you know? It's yeah. like, it's like, shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. I'm telling you, there's more people, I think, you know, you, you hear that on the news, which is really fucking disgusting. But everywhere I go and people know, and obviously you see with the independent mouth and the colors and everything else, People are always saying, good job, good job, good job. You know, great show. We love the show. Thank you for supporting the people who fight for our rights. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny, man, because like I said, that one of the things I'm going to be doing is talking with some Secret Service uh, and some people who really are deep down in the military that mm -hmm. you don't hear from, that you're not going to hear on a fucking show because uh, they're not trying to expose that shit. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. But we're going to be talking with them, man, and they're excited to actually come on the show and give us some real in-depth background shit that, that is taking place and going on, no, um, which is going to be great. No, that's definitely good. I, I so, love it. Oh, man. Bob, a fucking hour without even having a skeleton, dude. I don't think people no. understand that that's pretty insane. It's nice. It's nice. First thing it. you're doing once you hang up. Uh, well, she just brought me a cigarette. Uh, well, my first thing I'm going to go is maybe smoke a little weed uh, so I can sit outside and relax. Uh, don't have shit going on. A few calls later, but that's okay. Are you then, writing today? Are you going to be creative? Are you writing some stuff today? Or are you trying to take a little it, mental break? It, it, all, it all depends. You know, I might tomorrow, you know. Tomorrow I might go big. You know? Go big? I go, uh, you know, I'll be like, I'll get a book, I'll be ready, and I'll just start coming up with ideas and just throwing them down, making them funny, and uh, be ready to try out the next time I'm on stage. Nice. All right, well, listen, we're going to get a bunch of stuff together, man. I am working on a couple different things, so I'm waiting for them mm -hmm. to pop. I know you know that already, but well, I will actually send over to you something really nice where we can kind of play around with and kind of give you the entire scoop of okay. what's there. I can finally discuss it now. I haven't been able to discuss it, but I'm going to bring you into the loop. So that's kind of a little breaking for the people who are listening. There's going to be some really awesome shit that's taking place, uh, and I'm going to introduce it to Bob uh, within the next 48 hours. So with that being said, I want everybody inside the broadcast to understand what we will be having next week. It is going to probably be structured a little bit different. Yeah. And get ready to bring your fucking diapers because you're going to piss your pants. That's how much fun we're going to have there. Second yeah. of all, make sure you're wearing sweatpants, guys. Let the dick swing a little yeah. bit. Girls, yoga pants, right? Best invention ever. Keeps everything nice and tight. And a tank top. Greatest yeah. invention ever that was in the 70s and 80s. Oh. Wait, 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 Bob. Do you take a tank top over a sundress? Uh, tank top, man. If it's perfect, I, I, it's nothing like it. But what about the girls that you like with the butts with the sundresses? So now no, that's good, too. But, you know, just uh, the bottom part of a sundress and a tank top. Bob, I'm going to make a really long straw so we can just... And then the, the fucking dress pops up, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it looks good. It's like, you know, it's like a, it, I love going to wear like a yellow one or like colorful red. Oh. And they're like, I, I expect them to go, would you like any butter? You know, I don't know why, but it looks like they want to give you a butter. You know why they're never really wearing fucking uh, black sundresses, right? They're always afraid of the snail trail, bro. Oh, that would be hot. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. like the snail trail, bro. That's why you always check. You always got to look at the seats, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got Bob to fucking smile. Yeah. That was a good one. All right. So we're going to snail trail it next time, okay? Yes, definitely. All right. We're going to make it happen. Bob, thank you for hanging out, dude. I really appreciate it. A Anytime, fucking hour but... without without anything, man. That was fucking awesome. So we'll be ready next week. So you fucker to tell everyone. Let's go. We're getting it up, baby. I'm going to pump it out. We got the advertiser ready to rock and roll. Bob, we'll see you next week, man. You got it, buddy. Have a good one. Take care. Goodbye. Bye.